<coughs> Hi, everybody. How you doing? <coughs> Welcome to the uh, channel. It's uh, your buddy, Uncle Bruce, coughing right at the opening. Welcome to Stock Markets with Bruce, where we try to explain what's going on in the markets in plain English. Um, it's easier said than done, but we try and do it. Uh, we talk to people here about how to make money in this stock market and uh, how folks are really doing well writing options on their shares. Uh, writing stock options has been a uh, wonderful uh, uh, way to make some dough in all of 22, a good chunk of 2021. And <laughs> 2023 looks like an, an ideal year to be an option writer. Um, dollars are coming in from the gamblers on the option trading floor. They're taking cr incredible risks, uh, betting all kinds of money that they're prepared to lose. Um, they, these folks are making wagers. They could lose everything they put in. And option writers are more than happy to offer options to these gamblers and say, hey, you, you want to take a flyer on shares that I have? Uh, okay, I've got GameStop. I've got Apple. I've got... I got Cisco shares. I got uh, IBM stock. I've got uh, Tesla shares. Uh, hey, you want to you want to gamble? I'll let you uh, buy a couple of contracts. One, two, three, ten, twenty, whatever. I got contracts I can write, and I'll take your money up front. And um, I'll tell you what: if you make money on those contracts, way to go! But um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be buying back the very contracts that I'm writing. These these particular strike price and deadline. Uh, until the expire date, I'm going to buy these back for a fraction of what I'm selling them for. It might not be from you who bought them from me personally. It could be just the other traders out there trading the same contracts. Um, on, a, on stocks like uh, like Apple, you, you might have 30, 40,000 of the same contracts trading hands all the time. And um, you know what? Here here you go. I'll, I'll write them for you. Here, here's some contracts for five bucks, 550, 550 bucks a contract. Here's 10 of them for 5,500 US dollars. Knock yourself out. Hopefully, you can sell them for six grand or seven grand or eight grand. Good luck to you. Uh, my guess, though, is um, you're probably not going to be able to do that. Um, my guess is that you'll sell them for kind of what you paid for them to someone else, and you'll flip out and go elsewhere. You might make a few bucks. You might lose a few bucks. Maybe you'll hold on for a long time and lose it all. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them for five fifty. Let you have them, and I'll think I'll buy them back around. Uh, Oh, buck fifty-five, buck fifty-two, a dollar twenty-eight. I'll buy them back really nice and cheap, and then I'm going to write another set of contracts that are good for a month or two. I'm going to bring in another five hundred, five hundred fifty bucks a contract, and I'm going to do this all over again. I'm going to do this all the time, and uh, <clears throat> the money that comes into my account um, that stays in my account, uh, I'm going to uh, acquire either more shares to write more contracts. Or I'm going to buy a deep in the money call options on these shares and write calls against those calls and say thank you very much for these uh, fantastic returns. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Some of the dough I'm bringing in I might use to live on as I slowly say goodbye to my, to my existing employer and um, silently quit my day job um, and become a full-time option writer instead. And, uh, you know, with uh, with my account on one of these things right here, uh, I'm mobile. I don't need to be at my house, house all the time or be in somebody's office to write these contracts. All I need is an internet connection. I can be anywhere in the world to do this. And uh, things change. You know, when you, when, you, uh, when you decide you're going to go traveling for a year or two and you uh, take all the stuff you have and you sell a bunch of it off because it's old garbage anyway, then what you have left you put in storage. And you say goodbye to your landlord, um, and you don't have a rent. You don't have utility bills. You, you don't have uh, you know all these expenses. Uh, you, you sell your car off, or you 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 know, friend of yours takes your car over for you for a couple of years, and they just take the payments. And you, you you kiss all that goodbye for a while. The only expenses you have now are are day to day living expenses wherever you happen to be at. That makes interest travel even more interesting because instead of going on a holiday knowing you have all the bills to pay at home while you're on a holiday, you're not on one of those. You're now on a journey where the expenses you have on the road are your expenses, except for maybe some storage fees at home, unless you got you know mom and dad's basement to put stuff into. 
um, and you're gone. You're you're on the road for an extended period of time, and you're trading options from the road, just like you would anywhere else. And you're not in a hurry now to see everything like a two week, you know, panic vacation to Paris or something like that. You're in Paris for like three months. Uh, you're you're in Paris. And using it as a home base to go see other parts of France for a week here, a week there. You come back to Paris for for a week, and then you off you go again somewhere else for a week or two, and you end up then doing that from Barcelona in Spain, and you end up doing that kind of a routine from Rome and see Italy, and you're just seeing Europe, man. Uh, you're gone for a year, and um, your expenses are just how much do you eat today? What, what are you having to eat? Where are you eating? Are you uh, sourcing your food from a local market? Are you renting an Airbnb for a week or two at a time? Maybe uh, getting an Airbnb in Florence for two weeks and getting an Airbnb in Vienna for two weeks and becoming a local. Um, who knows? Uh, possibilities are endless. Uh, things have really happened on this channel in the last year, year and a half for a lot of viewers. Their lives have been completely changed upside down and Many of you are plotting exactly the same thing. You you tell me. You you let me know in no uncertain terms. Way to go. Uh, look, uh, the big news here, apart from the fact that the viewers of this channel are, are I think, are doing rather well, uh, Auntie Jen had her hip operation yesterday. Uh, she's got a brand new hip. Her doctor uh, told her uh, <laughs> after the procedure was all done and he was really happy and he said everything went great um as we figured it would we you know we had the cat scan on you already we, we already checked both your hips uh we know exactly what we're dealing with here but we gotta tell you um we were looking uh you know we were taking a good look at your joint there uh when we uh, you know opened you up <laughs> and we figured out that on a scale of one to ten that uh, the uh, the arthritis that you've been suffering from in your hip joint um on a scale of one to ten it's an 11. Um, you are off the charts with regards to a real mess in there with arthritis it's no wonder you've been in constant pain for over a decade um it's been getting really bad the last year or two uh, really bad yeah we know why because we're looking at this joint going i don't know how she even uh, she doesn't hit everybody <laughs> she's got to be so frustrated and so pain in so much pain you have a very high pain threshold because man oh man we've had people with with you know one third of this who have been in agony um you should have had this done a decade ago but uh, we understand your your situation and you're from canada and it's a public system and we get it and we specialize down here in this we're different where we really are we're very different but the good news is Despite all that arthritis, it's no longer there. We took it all away. <laughs> you have now a brand new uh, ball joint and a brand new hip joint. And uh, it's, as, it's as good as the day you were born. And it is stronger than what you ever had. And you're not going to be able to break this. Uh, so um, you can test drive this baby right now and um, start your rehab immediately. We'll have the rehab specialists working with you right now. And we're going to get you going. And she walked out of that uh, uh within that hospital area she was already walking with her walker and uh, she used her walker to get in our car last night when we picked her up and she used the walker to walk from the garage all the way to the living room um and she used the walker to go to bed last night and it's great she's uh, she's doing great uh she's um, um of course has meds obviously that she's got her ice machine to to help uh, with the swelling and she feels fantastic and relieved and happy the second hip the other hip um on a scale of one to ten from arthritis is a nine <laughs> you're saying your doctors in canada um your family doctor uh took a look at an x-ray you had done an x-ray uh in canada um they admitted that the first hip was a basket case. It had to be done, but you're on a three-year waiting list. The second hip, uh, they said to you that by the time the first hip gets done in three years, you'll be a year away from the second one getting done. You're getting the second one done here next year at the latest. Um, it's a nine out of 10. It's a nine. Um, 
you may find that uh, in the next few weeks, um, you'll find no pain coming from the one hip. Uh, but you're beginning to notice the other hip is hurting you <laughs> because right now it's being masked by the first hip. The first hip is so was so bad off, it was screaming for attention. The second hip was going, me too, me too. Uh, you're now going to notice the second hip. Uh, so you'll be back. Uh, we're ready for you. We got the CAT scan. We're ready to go. Uh, you'll get recovered and you'll get uh, rehabbed here. And then next year, we'll do the other one. And uh, you're you're good to go until your 90s. So yeah, we're, we're going to set you up real nice. So that's, that's the story as to how it went. So uh, it looks like I'll be on the air a little while longer as I... Uh, work a way to help some of you get a lot richer than you are now. I am motivated to help you make a lot of money in the markets. Um, so the classes will continue, uh, the one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, we'll do some six-on-ones. And um, we thank you for all these donations you've made to us. And these will just continue to be added into the fund to get Jen her, her other hip <laughs> as, we, as we work on that. Uh, no, uh, no downtime whatsoever, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And Jennifer is, is just thrilled and over the top and amazed at the, the, uh, the absolute phenomenal layout that the Eisenhower Medical Center provides and services from A to Z all in house in Canada. You go from one clinic to another clinic, to this provider, to this provider until finally you get your your surgery booked and you don't know which hospital you're going to you don't know when until they finally get an opening it's a it's a it's a one of those i don't know systems uh, when are you going in i don't know well uh, how long will it take i don't know Wh what hospital are you going to be at i don't know Wh where are you going to get your therapy done i i don't know down here it's at eisenhower at eisenhower it's all done in Eisenhower. It's either this building, this building, this. There's 40 buildings. They're all in one campus. It's here. Parking lots everywhere between building. Um, just set up for health. It's amazing. It is truly, truly amazing. It is a one of a kind, uh, unique place. Uh, but I'm certain, certain in the USA there are others like it. This one is pretty spectacular and the scenery the geographic scenery around this place my god rancho mirage palm desert california palm springs oh is it beautiful down here it makes you want to get better it really does so fantastic stuff anyway there you have it um, we're very pleased with how things are going and we're uh, we're very excited now uh, for jen's recovery that's now the the next phase and uh it begins today so there you go. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I have back surgery in a few weeks, Christina says. I sure hope everything goes well for you. Um, the staff at the hospital were incredibly curious about Jennifer because they said, you're, you're, from, uh, you're from Canada, huh? And you go, yeah, yeah. The, the therapist and the nurses were coming in. So you, you don't have insurance? Uh, no, no, I don't. Like, you're not even like like, don't you have like a passport, like a Canadian American passport, so you could get insurance? No, no, I'm just a Canadian. So you, 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 you had to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to pay for it. Um, um, and then one of them, after a while, said, "Well, <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, <laughs> the staff don't know how much it costs. The, the staff that you deal with, the 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 nurses, the the attendants, the." The uh, uh, most of the folks they have no idea what the cost is uh, for these procedures because all their clients, that you know, ninety nine percent I guess or whatever the number, it's a high number. They're all Americans who have insurance, and so dollars don't have to be discussed because it's an insurance thing that uh, you know is done who, through however. <clears throat> where here, uh, you you pay you pay cash. Uh, why why aren't you getting it done at home in, in Canada? So when they find out <clears throat> that the list is, you know, at least three years uh, before Jen could even get in there, they're just horrified. They're going, oh, my God. Oh, no. no. Three years. Oh, geez. No, no. And the therapists are going, there's no way uh, we would ever allow any of our patients, uh, candidates who, who need hip operations to, to wait three months, let alone three years. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You, you're in constant agony. And, 
Jen's going, yeah, I used to, uh, you know, um, a year ago, I had to start taking Tylenol all the time, like all the time. Um, and uh, so they were they were just blown away. So they were saying, well, how much how much did this cost you? And uh, so Jen's saying, well, you know, if you add the cost of the medication I had to buy, because I can't get medication as a senior down here at any kind of a deal. And the machine I had to buy for the icing of my hip and and all the other costs I've had so far, it's about 30,000 American dollars. And they're just going, $30,000, my God. And she goes, yeah, I'm, I'm coming back for the other one next year. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, so you can just see the, she said that she could see the wheels spinning in their heads about, Oh boy, that, that after tax, I mean, you got to make 50 grand to get 30. Uh, that's a hundred thousand dollars in, in pre-tax income. Uh, that's a lot of dough. And, and uh, yeah, it is a lot of money. It's a, it's a ton of money. And, um, a lot of Canadians can't afford to do that. And a lot of Americans can't afford to do it on a cash basis. Uh, so it's, it's, it's for the few, but we're lucky. We're just, we're just lucky. And, and, you know, she's saying my husband has, uh, he's got this YouTube channel and uh, he's got the greatest YouTubers in the world who watch him. And uh, they, uh, they uh, are so supportive and they're just, oh, you're lucky. This is great. Fantastic. We don't, we don't doubt that. Thank you all. Uh, again, fabulous. Um, we're down 137 on the Dow right now. Um, nothing serious. Uh, down 25 on S&P, down 113 on NASDAQ. I don't think this is going to last. I think this down dip is done within uh, within the hour. I wouldn't be surprised if um, if this uh, down dip is disappears very quickly and we actually have a um, an upward movement in the market. Today is December 30th, which means that if you buy a security today, or sell a security today. You're actually doing a 2023 transaction because the official settlement date is already over the weekend. And that means it's a 2023 transaction. That's telling me, the old man that I am, uh, tax loss selling ended yesterday um, and we were up 300 points yesterday, you may have noticed. Uh, we could be up again today. now. Right now, the talk this morning is about, oh, there's a pending recession coming in America. And, uh, you know, this could be, uh, you know, could it be a bad one? Or is it just a soft landing recession? What kind is it? You know, th this is the talk we're going to start hearing. Uh, but this will quickly disappear. Um, uh, the, the talk will shift here to, to today, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday of next week, all next week, uh, the short week we have. Um, speculation is going to kick in. Um, a lot of folks who sold stock in late November and up until mid-December have to wait their 30-odd days under the wash trade rule to be able to lock in losses. To lock in capital losses, you got to wait. By the way, yesterday we lost, we gained 345 points yesterday. We're down 160 at the moment. I think we could be higher uh, by the end of the day today. I don't know by how much, but we could definitely be higher today. We'll see. Um, the wash trade rule is uh, is is what's being watched. There are, there are people at home right now on their refrigerators with a calendar with a big X on a certain date. And that date might be today, might be next week, uh, the week after. That is the day that they can buy back whatever stock they sold 30-something days ago under the wash trade rule and they can lock in their capital losses and book their capital losses and now they can make a new acquisition all over again and if they want to buy back their tesla they want to buy back their apple they want to buy back their gamestop shares <clears throat> whatever it is <coughs> their <coughs> their atip shares they want to buy back whatever they sold for a tax loss they have got their day or they know what their day is they know their date They've talked to their tax advisor and they've been told, don't buy this back until at least this day or you have a wash trade. And um, the speculation I think that's going to happen now is um, starting yesterday, today, and next week and the week after, more buyers are coming in to buy up stock that they sold off over a month ago. 
And right now they're licking their chops because if you sold stock a month ago, six weeks ago, like, like GameStop, you could have sold GameStop at $27 a share six weeks ago. It's trading at nine, $18, $19. Uh, if you sold Tesla at $240, $270 back in October, November, you got it at 119 right now. I mean, there are people out there who are licking their chops who cannot wait for the magical day. And they're praying, praying, and praying that when the day comes, that the shares they'd like to get back are still down here. The problem is they won't be down here. Uh, we had an artificial reason why a lot of stocks backed off in price, tax loss selling. We got an artificial reason why stocks are going to go back up in price. Maybe not to where they used to be, maybe half the way, maybe a third, two thirds. There's a recovery coming for a lot of stocks. The question is how far and how fast. And a lot of folks are praying that they can get in before the move really happens. So on Tesla, we're at 119.25 right now. We're down two and a half this morning. We were at 108 for the low. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up at 130, 135 in the next couple of days. But really wouldn't wouldn't surprise me in the least. Um, GameStop uh, into this 18 range. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if we're back to 19 and a half, 20 bucks. I mean, I just wouldn't be shocked at that. That's not a big recovery. That's a partial recovery. Sure looks a lot better than 1698 like we saw the other day um atip have you noticed what's going on in atip out there um has anyone been paying attention to the atip stock uh something is going on there um it's not like it's going to all-time record highs or anything like that but it is beginning to show little patterns little tiny pieces of evidence are starting to pop up here and there that uh, the stock will trade at like 25 26 27 cents for a while and then out of nowhere a bunch of buying comes in and it goes to 30 31 just zzz, and uh, no one says anything and a whole bunch of stock gets bought up and then it kind of you know meanders along again as if nothing's going on and you know everything's fine and then zzz, it pops again i have a suspicion that um that atip stock might actually be about to go uh it might just break into the 40s and 50s in the not too distant future because the selling is drying up on this thing and uh, people who are buying down here are going hey it's nickels and dimes i, I i'm buying with loose change i i can buy ten thousand shares of atip for three grand i mean what's the big deal uh, it's not like i need three hundred thousand dollars to buy a couple thousand shares of this stuff this stuff is cheap they're not going anywhere uh they're, they're in business for the long haul i'm, I'm gonna buy this stuff up and um I am wondering, and still guessing, has the stock been shorted by some uh, derivative players in London and elsewhere? Um, and they're just trying to keep it down here for I don't know what reason. Um, and they haven't really covered their butts yet. I really wonder if that's the case. And uh, maybe there are some investors out there who've been nibbling away at this stock and every once in a while they kind of they buy like two hundred thousand shares fifty thousand shares a hundred thousand shares they just buy what's there run it up to 30 32 cents clean it up then they back off and they pretend like they're not doing anything and they let it back off again and they jump in and clean it out again this happened with gamestop this has happened with other stocks amcs of the world uh this has happened before uh, I've seen this pattern lately. I've seen this pattern over history as well. I kind of wonder if a little ATIP is just about to pop to the 40, 50, 60 cent range. Just because there's no selling. And movement will make more movement. If this thing starts to break, there will be buyers who will pile in on this. Day traders will pile in on it. They'll smell an opportunity for a quick flip. They'll get in and they'll flip it. You know, get in at 40, out at 50, in at 45, out at 55, in at 55, out at 65. They'll flip and flip and flip and play it, play it, play it, play it. And they can go, just go and go and go and go. And as the momentum goes, more buyers will come in going, oh, this is it. This is it. Here it is. The turnaround happened two weeks ago. It's still coming on. I'm getting in. And then people will pay willingly 70 cents when they were reluctant to pay 25. 
welcome to the stock market. It's the way it is. Uh, well, I'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, thank you all for uh, for being around. Uh, what else is going on here? It's nice to see you all. Uh, um, it's uh, good to uh, have you here this morning. Uh, welcome to the last day of, of trading for this uh, year. And we'll, uh, we'll uh, take three days off for the weekend and uh, be back next Tuesday and just get going. Um, yeehaw, let's see what's going on. Um, yeah, let's see what's, what's happening. Bama Babe, they had a, a special this morning on CNBC uh, about SPACs uh, of 2021. Most of them didn't make it, uh, but all of Uncle Bruce's are still around. Yeah, the SPACs they are highlighting over there and, and on Wall Street Journal and other publications, the SPACs that are being highlighted by these financial writers and what have you are the kind of SPACs that were not able to do deals. Um, they raised their money at 10 bucks a share. They have whatever, 200 million in the bank. They got, uh, they got uh, pipe financing ready. And then they were theoretically looking to, you know, find a, a suitable private company to vend in and couldn't find one. Well, the SEC has made it so next to impossible to, um, to make it, it, it make it almost impossible for a private company to get into a SPAC. I mean, they have basically shut this thing down. The restrictions that have been put in place and the reporting requirements that are now in place are so onerous that even billionaires who launched SPACs have said, there's no way in hell I'm going to uh, uh, take my SPAC that I put a billion bucks into or raised three billion bucks for. There's no way in hell I'm going to put any kind of an entity into this SPAC because the SEC is going to drown us in bullshit and we're just, we're not playing this game. And so they'd rather, believe it or not, these organizers of these SPACs who have put in millions of dollars in each one of them that they won't get back. A lot of fees and legals have been paid accounting fees, filing fees, they'll never get that money back. They have to cough that up as their loss because all the shareholders at $10 a share get their 10 bucks back. They would rather walk and give people their money back than to succumb to the SEC crap that is in front of them. Because they're looking at this going, these guys want us to spend another 50 million in fees. We're not going to do that in the next couple of years. Forget these guys. No way. The good news about the SPACs that I've talked to you guys about is that by the time we got involved in these things, these companies were well on their way to closing their acquisitions already. And they had closed a number of them. They were done by the time SEC there came around to muck it all up. <clears throat> and so, yeah, some of our SPACs got caught in some of the refiling garbage, but we avoided most of it. And so the good news is the eight SPACs or eight former SPACs that I talk about all the time, they're actually just publicly traded companies now. They're not, they're not SPACs. That's, that designation is gone. So when you see what CNBC talks about and the Washington Post and Fox Business and whoever else you follow, these guys are talking about the SPACs out there that have not and were not able to get a private company to come in. And um, uh, there are many of them who just didn't get a deal done for whatever reason, didn't get a deal done. And um, they are climbing on top of those SPACs and saying, you see, everybody, SPACs are garbage. And um, ignoring the fact that, um, what, 90% of IPOs done in the last four years are all in the toilet, uh, or many are in the toilet. Um, some are crypto connected and, and, and some are, you know, other connected, but they, they don't mention that. Uh, they don't talk about Carvana in any, you know, big way that here's an IPO that's blown up. I mean, it's just a disaster. Uh, you know, what about CarMax or what about Airbnb or what about DoorDash or what about Coinbase or what about, I mean, rattle them all off. So many of these IPOs, when you look at what their shares were trading at after being hyped and hyped and hyped by the very networks that are now jumping all over the SPACs going, SPACs are crap, SPACs are crap. These are the guys hyping the IPO deals for their friends in Wall Street. And they were trying to attract, you know, Wall Street 
hitters, uh, analysts to their television programs to tell their viewers how great these IPOs were. Um, you know, some of these deals were three, like two, three, four hundred dollars a share in the first weeks of trading, and they're trading at one tenth, one twentieth of what they were trading at. I mean, it's a complete disaster in less than a year. Um, no one is going there with a blanket uh, thing. They just talk about the slowdown in the IPO market. The slowdown. <laughs> yeah. It's called a shutdown. Anyway, what can I tell you? Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, Go SoFi uh, is here. Hey, how you doing there, Nick? Uh, Uncle Bruce and team. I just covered pre-market because if you say it is going to be 135, then I better cover now. So I did and I'm out. I'm going to buy the dip and I'm going to write the cash secured puts. What do you think about that? I, I would not write cash secured puts. No. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot of lots of IPOs have died too. They just want to ignore those. There you go. Um, I was short Tesla today. He said, Bobby, um, oh, sounds like a correct idea there, Nick. Um, agent uh, per the SEC and Gary specifically are the big part of the problem. Look who's meeting with SBF so many times. Uh, Bobby Atkinson, until mid-January, that tax harvest return money will come back in. That's my guess. There you go. Uh, Johnny uh, is here. Um, Uncle Bruce, I'd like to thank you for the shares you advised us and the great loss. They have fallen in value more than 80 to 90 percent. Many thanks for this. Oh, you're welcome, Johnny. I'm glad that I was able to give you some tax losses that you needed against all the millions of dollars you made on all the stocks that were running to the moon. Uh, I'm happy to help to help you reduce your you know outrageous tax bill that you know all these other YouTube uh, promoters <clears throat> and pump and dump guys who are now being charged by the SEC and the Department of Justice. Uh, all those hundred was it 180 million dollars of pump and dump scams. I, I hope those guys made you a fortune, and uh, I was happy to help you you know negate some of your tax problems. Uh, with that uh, yeah uh, but you know I, I wish i could take credit for the demise of all the other stocks out there i i can't take that credit i i you know i just didn't recommend buy everything um i just recommended buying you know certain things uh, but you might notice i still recommend those those companies um it's funny how i just never change my ways i just keep talking about certain companies i like them and i still like them where all your other friends out there don't even have channels anymore. Um, they're in jail uh, or they're going to jail or um, they got legal problems. Uh, yeah. Um, but hey, it's a couple of bucks. No big deal for a guy like you. You're the big man out there. Congratulations. I, I, I just thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule with all the billions you're managing to, to say hi to us. Um, hey, why don't you become a member and you can join us all the time. Uh, CD, the Disney parks are packed. Avatar has made over one billion worldwide. Iger has two years to pick a new successor. Uh, Disney stock is, uh, is low and has been in years. Seems like a good time to buy and hold. I think CD's pumping Disney. I think it's a pump and dump from CD here. Uh, you know, Disney's a fine company. Um, just It's just a fine company with all kinds of problems. Um, Disney's got all kinds of logistical issues, and they also have a changing, um, a changing world that they're part of. Uh, you know, it used to be uh, good enough to own uh, a television network like ABC and ESPN. That used to be good enough. Well, that's not good enough anymore. They have to launch their own streaming service, which of course competes with their own television networks for eyeballs. I mean that. One beats up the other, one way or the other. Um, their parks, uh, of course, uh, roller coasters wear down, um, and 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 you know, themed rides sell for a while, and then they don't. Um, you 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 have to change them out, and so a themed ride is good for five or ten or fifteen years, and then you've got to. Put another one in and that's millions and millions and millions of dollars in the meantime to maintain what you have so you're 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 dealing with assets that are depreciating all the time like the, those parks the parks are wearing out and are always depreciating and you've got to keep refreshing them and the issue that disney has is with seventy thousand employees seven zero 
thousand employees just in Orlando, those are hourly wages that must be paid every week. And uh, you cannot have a downturn, an extended downturn and, and get away with it. I mean, you, you've got to keep them coming in. So the marketing department and uh, promotion department is, you know, constantly going at it. Um, and then you got your fight with uh, DeSantis, the governor of Florida, who decided to pick a fight with his number one employer in his state. Um, I, I'm not so sure Disney has uh, really turned the corner yet. Um, now with higher interest rates and a recession looming, um, we may have a, a, a slow motion, swampy slowdown in the economy. And that is uh, preventing, will prevent companies like Disney to compound returns on top of returns. They might be struggling to hold on to returns for the next two or three years. Um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not that simple, CD. It's not that cut and dried. Uh, White Feather, uh, J.D. Bruce made a series of uh, classes explaining in detail um, how options work, but there are plenty of other sources of information available as well. Um, thanks, White Feather. I'm aware I'm looking for some on-the-job contextual translation is all. J.D., I've uh, been uh, watching over a year, and I still don't understand the basics. Um, uh, white to feather, uh, J.D., oh, okay. Uh, J.D., cash, a bit tight to embark on a journey. I understand it takes money to make money. Uh, J.D., pretty smart guy, generally speaking, if I do say so myself. Uh, Alberto, uh, Uncle, I'm holding off on writing on Tesla. I'm not going to write on Tesla right now. I'm also waiting for a dip to buy more shares. Should I buy the shares now? What do you think? I don't know. Um I'll put it to you this way. If you're willing to, uh, you know, you're going to buy the stock and you're going to write options on it anyway, um, uh, maybe now is an, an okay time. Uh, you're certainly not, you know, you're not paying 300 bucks a share. You're not paying 225. So getting in here in this 119, 120 neighborhood, um, I don't think you're, you're, you're paying you know, ridiculously high prices. Uh, the company is the leader in electric vehicles. No question about it. And they have a lead on everybody else that is a mile, 10 miles long. They're innovating their existing product. I mean, they're not sitting still going, oh, we made the Model 3. We're not going to, we're just going to make the same car for the next 30 years. That's not the plan. Um, this company is an innovator. And um, yeah, today we're getting, you know, we're seeing a lot of negative press on it, the Twitter thing and all that. But these are just short term small distractions the big picture remains the same this is the world leader in ev production they have just opened berlin and austin texas they will do additional plants probably mexico maybe one in canada um they're going to become a lot larger than they are now so if you're a long-termer i think you're going to be just fine and so yeah picking it up and looking for a little recovery on the stock and writing contracts uh, might be the way to go i i think so um why not write cash secured puts as opposed to buying the shares? Um, I'm just not a fan of it. I, I know people do it, um, but I, I am more of a I'm more of a call option kind of guy. I really love the premiums you can get from call options. You don't get the premiums from put contracts. Um, I like the fact that um, you can hold stock and write calls or you can hold deep in the money calls and write call contracts can't do that with puts uh, i like that too uh jd disappointed in myself not being able to pick up at least the lingo um well you know we do the best we can here bobby okay time to get uh, st sanding drywall again engaging lurk mode right on pal Dude, JD, join the group. 10 bucks a month is pretty cheap. Uh, JD, also down a whole bunch on our former SPACs, though once past the emotion of it all, it's hardly fair to blame Uncle Bruce for all this. Uh, H. Gregory, uh, laugh out loud, Uncle Bruce. Your sarcasm is amazing, <laughs> JD. A whole bunch equals a fancy car if you're one into that sort of thing. Uh, CD, no way I'm holding an addict. No way, no way I'm holding an addict. Uh, White Feather, um, JD, I think one of the psychological hurdles of doing it is that you sell something first and then you buy it back for a profit. Uh, superficially, it doesn't seem to make sense. Um, AJ, uh, a Amy, uh, number 79, thumbs up, Bruce. Good morning. Uh, thank you, uh, Amy. Uh, thank you for letting me know what number thumbs up you are. And uh, thank you to the 78 others who've already done thumbs ups uh, before you. I, I appreciate these. We always strive to hit at least 200 thumbs ups on the morning show. I thank you all 
for coming together for us on it. Uh, it's uh, much appreciated. Alberto, um, JD, Uncle Bruce will schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. Well worth the money. I made all of my all of the money back the first time I talked to this guy. Um, Lorraine, I'm number 77, Bruce. JD, thanks, guys. All good suggestions. Uncle Bruce is a savvy guy. I often think of doing a one-on-one, -on -one, but first question would be, have you done the classes? Uh, well, you know, it would be a good idea to um, make the investment you know, maybe one a month, you know, find 150 bucks a month, take back those empties. It adds up, you know, um, and um, grab a class every once in a while and make it a one year project. Uh, treat the classes like a university course. Uh, the good news is that, you know, in real life, uh, a university course, <laughs> even community college, will cost you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, you, know, you have to take many courses. You might have to be a full-time student to, to get a degree in whatever, where I've only got 14 classes and I don't make you buy them all. I mean, just buy one at a time whenever you're ready, 150 bucks. There it is. I mean, there's your commitment. You know, $150 a class is your commitment. And I like to say, uh, invest in yourself. Um, well, they say the same thing at Harvard, you know, they say the same thing at Princeton, invest in yourself. Yeah, 200,000 200, a year, 100, whatever it is, you know, $300,000 student loans uh, down the road, uh, invest in yourself. Uh, I say, hey, invest in yourself as you can afford to. And if you can uh, scrape together 150 bucks and take class number one, and then down the road, you grab another 150 bucks and invest in number Class number two, you can always rewatch number one anytime you want. Now you're watching one and two. Uh, you'll you'll learn this stuff. Now, some of you folks, you are quick learners. You already have an idea of how the market is working and what have. You'll get into my classes and you'll watch, uh, you know, uh, two classes a week, three classes a week. You'll you'll get in there and just go. I, I'm doing it. I'm going to catch all 14 classes in like a month and a half. And um, I'm going to join this guy's channel, and then I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. And, and I'm going to throw in about 3000 bucks of my money overall over a two-month window to take all the classes, have a one-on-one -on -one with this guy, and help him have him help me figure out what to do with my whatever my portfolio is and how to handle it. Uh, because for three grand, you know what? There are folks here writing five, 10, 20 contracts at a time. And they're bringing in two six ten thousand bucks at a shot what's three grand this is chump change in what's going on and this is knowledge for the rest of my life it's not like i have to pay three thousand a year to this guy to uh, learn how to do this it's, i learn how to write options and i'm good uh, forever um, i don't end up with a three hundred thousand dollar loan to some financial institution uh, that will I can never get rid of. Uh, this is this is this is uh, nickels and dimes, and I'm in the business of writing options immediately, right now. And I can keep my day job if I want. I I can have a part time gig or what, however I want to do this. You just gotta make the investment, you guys. It's uh, it's New Year's resolution time for some of you folks out there. That's what it is. It's New Year's resolution time. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? And it happens every January. <laughs> and every January, we, we, we have people who make promises. They make the mistake of publicly announcing it so that they can be shamed later by all their friends who are their friends. Um, you have to silently want this. You really have to want it. And, and you're going to have to be res resolute in how you're going to uh, make this happen. Uh, there is no shortcut. Um, you might think there is, you might think that, oh, well, I'll just take the classes and I'll, I'll hang out with Bruce a little bit and, um, it, it'll be great. And for some of you, it goes fairly well, very quickly. Uh, but others of you, it's sort of, a you grind it out and you, uh, you do class number one and number two, and you find out the classes are plain English and they're easy to follow. And, uh, you also find out if I have a question about class number three, I can just send Bruce a private email. I mean, where else are you able to send an email question to the creator of classes and get a response? <laughs> where, 
here's the URL. Uh, there are there are channels out on YouTube, and I'm sure there are you know plat there are entities on platforms everywhere that offer you courses on everything from from restoring cars to flipping houses to 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 becoming a marketer uh, becoming a, an amazon expert i mean you know there's everything you've seen them you've seen them all. how many of these classes are for sale for you guys where there is no communication between you and the instructor you don't even know who the instructor actually is um and there's no way for you to ever ask a question to the instructor about what you're doing because you're watching um you might get in the mail a, a cd or something or a book or a binder um and you have to read it and you know good luck to you uh we're here uh you watch the classes uh you hang out with me during the day if you want uh become a member if you like and then send me a question about class number four uh, right on the air try and stump the two try and stump the professor uh stump the prof uh where else can you do that and for 150 bucks a class oh come on if you can't if you can't see past that as an investment in yourself you don't deserve to be an option writer i'm sorry <laughs> you got it you got to be kidding me uh i'm trying to help people turn generate thirty thousand a month in revenues from options that's my objective for every one of you guys is to be able to help you make thirty thousand dollars a month uh, 150 dollar class uh if that is a problem get get over to starbucks and apply for an 18 dollar an hour job right now because that's where you are going to be most comfortable because at the end of the week after 20 hours you're going to get yourself 300 something dollars a week to be schlepping coffee or whatever job you're going for um and just and just do a day job just just you're cut out for a day job and uh, let the boss tell you when to come in and when you go home and let the boss pat you on the back and tell you you're doing a great job because that's what you obviously need um, but if you're on your own and if you really want to be on your own and you really want to be independent and you want to really take control of your life and there's only about five percent of you out there that want to do it um i have i have a way you could do it um i'm up front i have nothing to hide check it out yourself um but um you gotta want it man you gotta want it um sometimes it takes until your 40s before it hits you uh because so many of you out there when you were in your teens and 20s you made fast money uh when you went left high school and you're in university you got a job right away doing whatever and you, you're making forty thousand a year and fifty thousand a year and you thought oh i'm king crap this is great i i make a thousand dollars a week i'm fantastic um and then after a few years, you realize this has limitations. <laughs> after taxes and deductions, and then when you get married and have kids, there are limitations to what you can do because life gets more expensive all the time, and I'm not making way more money anymore. I, I, when I was in my parents' basement, and I was making $40,000 a year and paying 100 bucks a, a week in rent to mom and dad, I was doing really well financially. I'm not doing that well anymore with my own place and my car payments and my credit card payments. Oh, and my girlfriend and the, the two kids she had with her former boyfriend and now the one we got going. This isn't working for me anymore. Uh, this thirty, forty thousand a year, I can't find a one hundred fifty thousand dollar a year job. Um, hmm, w what's wrong with this picture? The American dream isn't working for me. Well, sometimes it takes until you're in your forties and you go, I know. I know what to do. If I want to make myself way better than I am, I'm going to have to buck up buttercup and um, make myself more valuable. And um, there's a million ways for you to do it. Uh, and then there's what I've got. Uh, but if it's not for you, it's okay. It's all right. You don't have to do this. Move on. It's fine. It's not, no hard feelings. It's okay. But for those of you who have uh, come in here, and you've learned how to write options and you start bringing in money that you cannot believe you can't you just can't you can't believe it you're, you're you're following this old man's advice and you're saying okay i'm going to write these gamestop contracts like he talks about i'm going to write these april 21 dollar contracts or 20s i'm going to bring in four bucks a contract okay all right and um 
a couple of weeks later, they're sitting at three. You're going, I, I'm up $100 on every contract I wrote. I wrote five of these things. I'm up 500 bucks. And it's like not going away. It's not like I'm up 500 and then it disappeared in 15 minutes because the stock collapsed on me. You know, that hot stock died. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still up $500. The next day, two days, three days later, I'm, I'm up 575 A week later, I'm up $750. i am up $800. I've always been up on this trade. I've never been down on the trade. Every, ever since I got into it, I was ahead on the trade because I wrote it on a stink offer and the contract is shrinking out and I'm always making money on this. Like I'm always ahead on all my option positions. And even if a stock goes up, I'm still ahead financially because my asset is worth more money than what the, the option is doing. How is how is this legal? How, how, why doesn't everyone do this? If this is so good, Bruce, come on, Bruce, this is so good. Why doesn't everyone do it? I mean, come on, man, because that's what every one of my friends says to me when I tell them what I'm doing. Why isn't everyone doing it? That is the question, uh, but that's not a question for me. It's not a question for me. Lorraine, how you doing? Number 77, JD. Thanks, guys. All good suggestions. Uncle Bruce is a savvy guy. Thank you. Uh, White Feather, JD, outside my budget, but I think Alberto has taken them all. JD, I have plenty of stocks on which to sell calls. Um, uh, like most things in life, actually doing it is the hardest part. Alex, uh, I'm really unsure about the thesis that buying will come in in early January, given the overall economic situation and inflation. Won't many decide to stay in cash? Uh, could be right, Alex. Could be, uh, but then again, you know, we may have a good two or three week run, and then we get kind of quiet. We'll, we'll see. Doesn't matter as an option writer. Doesn't matter. Spare TV. Good morning, y'all from uh, eighty four this time. Good morning, uh, JD, uh, and then some Alberto. Uh, JD, schedule a one on one with prepared questions, and he will set you up. You, you will not regret the cost. Uh, Oscar uh, Davila, De, 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 De number eighty five, thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, SoFi, go SoFi. dot com. Uncle Bruce, um, wouldn't selling cash secured puts for let's say one hundred or one hundred five be a good idea here if it frops and then collect the premium if it goes back up? Again, um, I'm just not a fan of cash secured put writing. I'm not a big fan about it. Um, just not. So you, you can't talk me into it. Uh, I'm not talking you out of it. It's your call. It's your money. It's your trade. You know, I've talked about it in my classes. I mean, I talk about writing cash secured puts, but it's not my favorite way of doing it. But hey, more power to you guys. Uh, anyway, there you go. JD, uh, thanks, Bertie. A new resolution, perhaps. New Year's resolution, JD. The shares are collecting dust. I'm keen on the idea of actually putting them to work somehow. Go so far, then buy back as cash secured put. I did that yesterday and locked in almost 18 grand. Way to go. I mean, if it's working for you, I'm a happy guy. Uh, Derek, happy new year. JR, not sure how the sell high, buy low concept has gotten past some people here. Uh, DQ, uh, Bobby, I need a drywall and tie. Splair, um, I've made um, uh, an ad for you, Uncle Bruce, in my newest video. Mentioned it shortly with the mug in the background of my uh, Lego Seinfeld unboxing. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that, Joe K. Uh, bagel morning, everybody. Hey, Joe K. Um, uh, number eighty-five, Uncle Bruce. Uh, glad you're doing well, Auntie Jen. Dude, um, JD, four months into membership, and I've pulled in eleven grand in premiums in just one account. Uh, I'm writing options on everyone else I know is losing money in this market, not me. All thanks to Uncle Bruce and his channel. How about that, Alberto? Dude, way to go, pal. JD, and dude, is that premium liquid? Uh, Matthew, uh, good morning, number 89, thumbs up. Um, how did everything go yesterday? It went very, very well. Uh, home skill. I sold GameStop cash secured puts for just over three bucks. $18 strike for, for March. The is only 0 0.02, but, that, but that'll accelerate. I'm hoping it's a good trade. Mr. Premium of the option. Uh, just yesterday, I pulled in over a grand in premiums. Dude, uh, that's pure profit. And two thirds of that is still in the last month. JD, you're right, Uncle Bruce. Uh, JD, thanks, man. Uh, Alberto, JD, my accountant asked me not to post specifics, but I still do. Easy, I've made over 100 grand this year, easily. Uh, Joe K, um, JD, like you, uh, I got a bunch of stocks to write on. Uh, in just two weeks of doing this, I've written over 16 grand in calls, and I've taken in 2,500 profits already in a couple of weeks. Dude, uh, JD, I lurked for a while like you, and I started to sink. It started to sink in. Uh, 
and you have to learn this writing option thing. Joe K, you can do this. Uh, AJ, A Amy, Uncle Bruce, I have 10 GameStop, Jan 20, um, 20 or strikes. I'm up just a bit. I bought last week. Um, if you think market is heading up, should I roll out today or wait for a bigger dip in January? I wouldn't move at all. Just sit tight. Uh, time is your uh, your ally, and um, I wouldn't wouldn't twitch whatsoever. As San as San, as San Uncle Bruce, are your classes good for perpetuity? Uh, I worry about your carb intake. <laughs> Uh, well, once you own the class, uh, you're going to have the class in your computer thingy, and you can watch it anytime you want. So you'll be fine. JD, thanks, guys. Got across the bridge here. Uh, Rebel Bill, I'm up 33% on a small $4,000 account. Home skillet. Yeah, learning options is a must. Uncle Bruce opened a whole new world for me. It's Ryan says, Mr. Premium and dude, what are you guys writing on? Uh, Bobby, uh, woohoo, not all the mud has dried from yesterday. I got the day off from the honeydew list. Time to drink coffee, spin around in my computer chair, and listen to a homeless man. <laughs> That's me. Alberto, uh, JD, Gold members have a special session as well every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock prime time for Gold Bagel members only. And every morning before the 8.30 show starts, I do a, a Gold Bagel member trade alert show just for Gold Bagel members um, five days a week when we're open five days a week. So, yeah. Johnny, uh, but thank you all. All the best wishes to you all, to Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen, and hopefully in good health. Greetings from uh, from uh, uh, or Ora Shot North uh, Brabant, the Netherlands. Right on, great people over there. Um, uh, wall uh, something thirty thousand a month. What size account would you need for that? Um, be surprised how small it could be. Uh, you can write. Uh, I bet you you can write on a hundred thousand dollar account, maybe. $150,000 account. You can do that with poor man covered calls. Some of you guys know. Um, you may want to tell him just, you know, what it takes. JD, straight talk express. Uh, all aboard. Dude, GameStop mainly, it has outsized premium. Um, uh, Alberto, 30,000 month. There's several here that have exceeded that already. Uh, DQ, um, Uncle Bruce. The one question is, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Ah, you see, there's that. Uh, Splare, yeah, it, 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 people mentioned already then from me as well, a healthy, successful start to the new year to everyone here. It's going to be great to stick to that channel. Uh, Splare, uh, hopefully staying with us the next five years, and we hope he sticks around. Mr. Premium, it's Ryan, two-thirds dividend, one-third growth. Uh, go so far. Uncle Bruce, I need advice. I, I got some moolah after my Tesla short. My Tesla short cover, and I want to buy paper. Which would be good to buy, SoFi or ATIP? Well, there, there you go. Two two different companies, two different stock positions. Uh, uh, you know, I I know you own both. So <laughs> many people on this channel own both and more, and so. Uh, I don't have to answer that question. Dude, the key is to reinvest your premium fees and build your positions. I'm on track to double my income this coming year with little effort. JD, the other thing I worry about is the time commitment. I thought of someone, I thought uh, I thought a comment someone made yesterday resonated. That's why we write so far into the future. So you're not constantly having to check. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you can um, you can write calls that are you know two, three, four months out. Or longer and take a big fat giant premium uh, out of the money and uh, you know just sit back and check every day or so just a little little peek there's ways uh splayer if people mentioned made a little mistake previous comment uh maria powell thumbs up thank you uh, brother um, uh, i don't know what that means uh what size of uh, alberto brother do you, you think tesla is uh, you think tesla is over do you think tesla's over i, I don't think so Dude, uh, JD, exactly. I wrote out three months. That's what I do. I write out three months. Some write a month out or a week out. It's it's so easy once you get it. It's so easy. Who's your uncle, Bruce? When are you going to come out with your own cryptocurrency? <laughs> Chris, I just keep buying Matterport every time it goes down. Mr. Premium, once we get back to bull market, cash secure ports will be more popular. Um, Alex, go SoFi. Go 50% SoFi. 50% ATP. Good moves, in my opinion. Willie, good morning. I am number 107, Bruce, and your market is opening right now. 
Um, JD, uh, uh, JR says, you seem like the perfect candidate to write out the money way out in the future. Check once or twice a day, then fold your arms. Uncle Bruce promotes the arm folding thing. JD, one of my favorite posters, Samuel, Uncle Bruce Almighty. Alex, uh, JD, if you're, uh, uh, if you're, um, what is it? If you told up the time, told up the time you spend watching the market, you might be surprised. Most of us, right, were watching the market a lot before Uncle Bruce. Anyway, uh, Bobby, it's not the size they count. It's the amount of the writable contracts. Eventually, eventually, the returns from the rights pay for another contract, like a snowball effect. Spare biggest mistake I made in 2021. Not watching my first class. If someone is actually in the struggle for the lookers, spare uh, class number two from all, already changed everything. Um, Susan Stanberg, Bruce, I'm Susan, shop about here with 109 thumbs up. I'm not showing up as your as your gold bagel member. Something is acting up on my YouTube account, but I, I want you to know I'm here with you and everyone. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Susan. It's a, it's a YouTube glitch. Uh, these happen from time to time. I don't know what to tell you to do. I, I don't know. I, people have found ways to contact YouTube or, or, or you know, try to figure out. It, it, it's sometimes when renewals are done uh, through credit cards, sometimes uh, your credit card you have on file is is uh, been revised or you got a new card, uh, expiry date is different. I don't know. It, it runs the gamut and I can't tell you, but I'm glad you're here. I'm not surprised you're here. I'm glad you're here and have a happy new year as well. Let's make lots of money. Joe, when I grow up, I wanna be Alberto. Way to go, dude. Alberto Sammy uh, Capaza, he started trading a month ago and has become a day trader already. True it's testament to the Uncle Bruce's teachings. Go so far. I'll go half and half on both. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, spicy uh, number 114 here. Larry Titus, the bells have rung, buddy. You're on. We're, we're, we're trading. We're up and running. Two minutes in. Them's the bells. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry from DQ. Alberto, thanks, Larry. Let's go. Bamba, babe. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Bo, uh, ATIP in the, in the 20 cent area is a no-brainer. JD, thanks for entertaining this uh, great today. Um, thank you. Uh, Samuel, uh, you're only a click away from a premium. Buy back that contract with a stink offer and rewrite that contract. Squeeze that lemon dry and continue to squeeze. How about that? Jess, uh, Jane, can you uh, work full time and also do this? Uh, I'm interested, but I do not want to leave my job for it. Yes, you can. Y yes, you can. Depending on your job, of course. Best of luck from another lurker, says White Feather to JD. Alberto, wait, what size does matter? Oh, wait, we're talking about stocks. Account size uh, does not matter. Um, Gaiotti, uh, Yes, yes. You can easily be a writer while working, uh, especially if you write further out strike dates. Uh, JR, size does matter. Just ask Pluto. Uh, JD, thanks. Uh, <laughs> you too. All right, guys. Thank you all for uh, popping in here this morning and joining us and commenting and questions and you name it. It's great. Um, love you guys. Uh, we're so happy you're all here. Have a great new year. If you're just a lurker, uh, you're always welcome here. Um, uh, but uh, if you're a lurker that becomes a member, oh, we love you guys. Uh, we love the members so, so much. The members are what keeps this channel going. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't be here. Um, without members, we got nothing. And uh, thank you, all of you who are members, who have become members, who stay members. Um, a lot of folks, once they become members, they never leave. They just hang around and they enjoy the company of the other members here. A lot of uh, cooperation done between people. By the way, 123 thumbs ups. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you again, all of you, for, for helping out. Uh, got a consultation request. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will get back to you, my friend, um, as soon as I can. I've had a couple of people put in requests for one-on-ones, and uh, I haven't I had not booked any yet because we wanted to get through the antigen hip replacement thing and uh, so hopefully next weekend i'll be back up and running but I, I will let you guys know as soon as i know exactly what's going on um we want to just see how uh, how everything works out the next 24 48 72 hours and then i'll i'll let you all know but definitely uh, if you're making a donation for a one-on-one -on -one, uh that will be duly noted it is on file and you will be uh, you'll be uh, definitely invited in uh, as soon as we can and we'll kind of kind of go from there thank you all uh so very much um for uh, for uh, asking and 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 uh, inquiring and we'll get you we'll get you going you betcha um sooner the better i agree uh let's see here uh 
Uh, let's see. Um, JD, I think I got to dive in on this, I think. Splayer, uh, I was working full-time, and then the option stuff was working out only for classes you need free time to spend. But after you're done with some of them, you are already comfortable with this. Constantine, I just sent a donation for you. Got it, my friend. We will. Uh, I'll get back to you after the show's over. I'll try to figure something out with you. I've got a few folks that are on the line right now for this. Uncle Bruce, uh, I got some extra tax shields, so I figure might as well buy us back some covered calls on that, uh, that uh, dip and rewrite later today. Any preference between GameStop, Apple, or Tesla? Because I'm up on all these contracts. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, um, we'll just have to see how these markets uh, kind of fire up here. Let me, let me kind of... I haven't even looked. I mean, I'm just, you know, answering all these questions and having had time to look at quotes. Uh, we're down 124 on the Dow. Um, uh, we're, down, we're down 26 on S&P, and we're down 118 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ down 1%. It's nothing. 0.7 on S&P, 0.4% on Dow. Uh, the crude oil is down $0.04 cents a barrel. I mean, we're talking quiet uh, end of the year here. Um uh, we got GameStop right now down 11 cents to 18.22. We've got uh, Moderna down 3.09. We have ATIP at 28.1 cents, uh, down nine tenths of a penny at the moment. Tesla 122.80 up 98 cents. Uh, I'm not surprised to see it going up. I, I'm just not going to be surprised if it goes higher. Um, a Beach Boy, you may want to look at the Teslas. Uh, you may want to grab them, uh, take them off the table. And then maybe get ready to rewrite, um, maybe later today, but probably Tuesday or Wednesday to rewrite those at a higher strike. That's that's it. that's possible. So that might be the first one I'd look at. Um, we got SoFi at four fifty eight down nine tenths of a penny, so nothing happening there. Apple down one hundred five, and and that might be another one. Uh, Beach Boy, the Apple might be. Uh, if it's attractive enough, but otherwise it's not a it's not a, a hurry up and do something kind of a trade. The Apple contracts you have are just naturally going to shrink out, and you're going to do just fine. So, so we'll play that by ear. HBQ down thirty three cents. Google down one forty nine. Uh, Eighty seven forty six. Uh, Amazon down a buck. Uh, these aren't big losses here. Uh, HD Home Depot down four. Cisco down thirty two cents. Netflix two eighty four down six bucks. Pfizer down. 12 cents, IBM off 49 cents, Microsoft down 277, Vanek down 326, SMH, the Vanek uh, Semiconductor Fund. You can write calls on that ETF if you want. Adobe down 295, uh, Goldman down a buck 43, Boeing is up 94 cents, Meta Platforms down 168, uh, 23Me is down uh, 3 cents, Rocket Lab is down 2. Matterport is higher, one and a half cents better. Uh, Smart Rent up again today, up two and a half cents. Spire at 91 and a half cents. There's a bargoon there, down a half a penny. And Six Terra is up one penny, 185. Real Cribbon down 20. Bed Bath Beyond down 95. Carvana up two and a half. Um, Robin Hood unchanged. Um, Target down 65 cents. JP Morgan up six cents. Costco down 339. Walmart up down 38 cents for Walmart. Uh, Disney down a buck 10 to 86.08. And Nvidia down a buck 80. American Airlines down four cents. So it, it's a negative day, um, more or less, but it's fractionally negative. Like I said, this first hour or two, there might be a, a little sell wave and then there's nothing. Uh, that could well be the situation here. Because we were down 152 on the uh, pre-market, but it looks like um, uh, we're not that bad off now. Um, Dow's off 120, S&P down 21, Nasdaq down 91. Uh, and like I said, I, I think we may have an uptick day here when it's all said and done. Uh, Tesla now is up 140 to 123.23. Uh, so I'm happy to see that. I'm not surprised to see it. 108 was the low couple of days ago uh 130 140 is uh reasonable to see a snapback rally not this second but this would not surprise me at all uh dq birdie is is a size queen shocker i don't know what this means go so i just bought five thousand so far now i own 0.27 million of them 270 thousand right on 
Uh, BW Aspire, really, uh, this is getting funnier and funnier. Who's next under uh, $1? Matterport, ME, Sixtera. You buy a couple thousand of each of these and it'll change your life. Just the shares. Imagine the writing those calls. Oh, man, are you guys going to make money? Bobby, um, CYXT for sure, BW. Um, we're at 1814 on GameStop, now down 18 cents. Um, Moderna down to 174. I know a guy who wrote 180s. And uh, he's getting better looking all the time on that trade. Um, ATIP, 28 cents, uh, down nine tenths of a penny. Uh, Tesla, 122.74, up 92. SoFi at 456, down just three cents. Apple down 167, 127.94. There you go. Alberto uh, DQ laughing. DQ says, uh, I'll go sit in the corner. Sorry, I'll just go sit in the corner. Uh, DQ, I think you're going to be good. Uh, JR, uh, hey, Uncle Bruce, you, you being the world traveler you are, <laughs> do you think it's worth dumping my uh southwest airline tickets and getting a different flight to uh, to uh, texas on united or american don't need to be stranded in an airport apparently they have pledged all their flights will be up and running by uh, today and tomorrow so i think they're going to be back uh i'm up 25 percent on those moderna 180s that you helped me right there mr bruce um yeah dq um, just keep an eye on the option chain, um, you know, as these slip down, uh, which I think they will continue to do, um, you're going to look for an opportunity to write, um, eventually 170s or 160s, um, but they're going to be closer in on time. The strategy is simple. Uh, whatever you have to pay to buy your calls back you're going to receive in writing new calls, but you want the new calls to be closer in in time and a probably a little lower in strike. So that that's what you're doing. But there, this is not, you're not in a hurry here. You're not in a hurry. Um, the stock now is 173.95. It got up to 220. Uh, it came from 135 or something. So, I mean, you know, 160, 155. Let's see what the calls look like there and what the other calls look like there. And then we'll kind of figure out how to, you know, it's all good. In the meantime, that premium is dropping and you took in the big bucks. And that's what it's all about, buddy. Uh, that's what it's all about right there. Okay. Got the Dow down 173. I've got GameStop down 11 cents. Um, ATIP at 28 cents. Tesla, 123.36, up 154. Um, we are down one penny on SoFi. I think we're about to break even on SoFi. 458 right now. Apple, 128.03, down 158 a share. There you have it. That's what we got going. Alex, I couldn't decide what to do with my HPQ covered calls buy back, fold my arms. My indecisiveness has been driving me nuts. I've decided to buy back two and let two run. I think I'll, it'll pop in January. Well, uh, right now, HPQ 2668. The stock's down a little bit. Uh, so your calls are slipping, which is what you want. Um, it's possible, uh, you know, you buy a couple back here and then uh, sit on the sidelines and see if the shares want to pop uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and next week. They pop into the 28 level. You write new calls on the two, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah. You can't lose either way. You can't lose. Uh, DQ, I, it came from sub 120. I wrote 120s when it was under 120. It has come a long way, DQ, hasn't it, this uh, this uh, Moderna? I went long in Tesla in the pre-market, liking that trade so far today. How about that? Alberto, DQ, get that money, buddy. Get that money. Right on. Well, We'll see how things go. Uh, Tesla, 124 now. 124.09. Tesla's going higher. It's good to see. Good to see. Um, this is the high of the day, I think. Or at least the range. Uh, we're certainly in the range of the high of the day. 124.40 is the high trade. 124.16.18 right now. Yeah, baby. Looking more better all the time. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. This, there's knocking at my door. Oh. <laughs> Auntie Jen Jr. Um, I know you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Everyone is, has been anticipating this moment <laughs> on this channel. It has been unbelievable. Um, 
Uh, everyone is excited. Hi. Cheers, Bruce, from Alex. And uh, DQ says, I bought uh, Tesla Sub 122. DQ, AJJ, Auntie Jen Jr. AJJ, <laughs> DQ is going, uh, how you doing? Uh, uh, welcome, AJJ. Uh, what's what's happening in your life today? Um, good morning, everybody. How's okay. Auntie Jen doing? Good. She's on the couch. Oh, she's, she's got her breakfast. She's, her tea. she's got her breakfast and her tea. She's got her device all hooked up. Uh, she's got that ice machine, the, that ice pack machine going. She's she got her TV on yet? No, yeah, she's got her phone. She's got her phone because she yeah. she's got she's got a lot of people to talk to. Uh, um, tasty, tasty donkey. It's the FB, the FB. It's the F. Oh, it's the FBI. Uh, the knock on the door. Uh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Jr. Good morning, AJJ. Alberto. Hello, Jen Jr. Uh, <laughs> John Anderson. Good morning, Jr um junior uh bw yay it's jen junior uh dq if she's a steelers fan she's perfect uh because dq is a steelers fan no one can be a bigger steelers fan than my mother nobody alex uh morning jen junior from alex in london england welcome yeah would you care for a i don't know bagel mm, a bagel Ooh, gee yeah, that's a, something novel and new i never don't hear that very often. Uh, maybe I might. I might just have a hankering for a, a good old bagel. Mm -hmm. What kind of topping would you like on your bagel? Well, I you know get her toasted. We put the bag, put the butter on it, and then we put on those roasted sesame seeds on top of that, mm -hmm. and then maybe a very thin uh, layer of uh, grape jelly. From Good. Welch's grape jelly, which you'll find just above the toaster. Oh, I was given a tutorial. You were, she, she was given a tutorial. <laughs> uh, uh, question from BW Is uh, Jen Jr. a PMCC elite, a poor man covered colleague? Uh, she's not an option specialist. Uh, no. no. Uh, no. <laughs> Alberto, is she making the bagel? Great daughter, says Alberto. Spicy. Uh, good morning, JJ. Um, Beach Boy, we don't believe there's someone there unless we see a hand or an elbow. <laughs> You'll just have to wait until the bagel arrives. <laughs> the we'll daughter know. has spoken. You, 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 you catching, are you catching a little drift there? Uh, yeah. Alex uh, just made a donation of $50 uh, on PayPal. Well, thank you, sir, very much. Um, JR, what's the AJJ bagel specialty? Will we see anything new? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just taking orders. I'm just taking orders. Uh, Vivash, Jen sounds exactly like her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Bruce, you raised a winner. She gets you bagels, man. Um, DQ, bacon, eggs, cheese, sesame seeds, and a side of steak. Take advantage, Uncle Bruce. Take advantage. <laughs> yeah, bacon, eggs. <laughs> uh, test, testy donkey. Aha, Vivash was thinking the exact same thing. DH, uh, AJJ, uh, ask about the horseradish. Yeah, no, no horseradish, please. Uh, DQ, <laughs> hit him, AJJ, hit him. Um, the beach oh, point, worry. good point, Jen <laughs> Junior. Good point. Uh, you'll see the you'll see the elbow and the hand when the product is delivered. All right. See there. You I'm going to go prepare an, an expertly prepared grape thin layer of grape jelly, post sesame seed buttered bagel. Can I can I beat this? I can't beat this. I will no. return. Thank you so very much. Yes. All right. Alberto, I will have a darkly toasted sesame bagel with grape jelly and butter. Alex, uh, Uncle Bruce, you won't get rich off my donations, but there's an early starter for the Second Hip Fund. There you go. The Second Hip Fund has been launched. Uh, Alex, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Uh, we got a we got a whole year to work on this now. Mandu number five, one thirty-seven thumbs up, Bruce. Thank you everybody for these thumbs ups. Hit that button for us. Get us to two hundred as quick as possible. Uh, D. H. Ruda, go rug man. Alberto, Alex, that's the way. That's the way. We have one hundred thirty-eight thumbs ups. We need sixty-two. Now we got one hundred thirty-nine. Sixty-one thumbs ups, and we'll have two hundred today. Please hit that thumbs up button before Jen Jr. gets back, and let's get a big start on this uh, meter. Let me know what number you are if you if you want. Uh, thank you all. Do to sing, but uh, uh, DQ. Uh, by the way, Uncle Bruce, I found the toasted sesame seeds in the Asian section of the grocery store yesterday. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, these these are phenomenal. You you can put those on top of like pasta. Just sprinkle them on top, um, on top of any kind of bread. Uh, um, you know, if you're ever making. Uh, like I say, are you ever making like uh, you take white bread and you toast it, you put butter on it, 
and then you put the sesame seeds on there fabulous if you're ever making garlic butter like garlic toast you know so you take the texas sliced bread you you put butter on it put it in the oven a little bit then put on the roasted sesame seeds on top of that with like with that garlic butter oh my god uh, incredible oh it's so good uh spicy how much uh, uh i have to donate to you to ship my bagels to me <laughs> Alex, P.S. My st my stinks on um, HPQ. They hit. I got. I got it. Vivash. Oh my! Even her laugh is totally gen. I can't believe it. Um, dude, I have ses toasted sesame oil. Game changer. Yes, sesame oil is also a game changer. Um, you know, at, at Costco these days, you can buy these. Uh, what are they known as? Is they, are they known as udon noodles or something like that? Udon noodles. Uh, and they come in a they come in a package. Uh, these are thick, soft, thick noodles. You put them in a pan. You put in some oil. You follow these instructions. You add sesame oil to this. You put the udon noodles in there, and then you add the ingredients that they give you, and then you add the roasted sesame seeds on top. Then you put them on your plate. Oh man, um, roasted sesame seed oil and the roasted sesame on top of udon noodles. Oh man, what a delight! So nice, Alex DQ winners cash checks and buy sesame seeds. There you go, DQ Alex. Precisely, they buy roasted sesame seeds. Um, JR, udon is the best. Stay away from the fish cake. Oh, yeah, no, 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 udon, udon. Oh, really nice. All right, well, let, let's see how we're doing here. That HPQ down 41 cents. Way to go, Alex. Uh, we've got the Dow right now down to 76 to start the first 32 or 50, 22 minutes or whatever we're opening here now. Uh, we're sitting here on, let me refresh my big-ass iPad and see if it wants to kind of join the party. GameStop, $18.19 down 14 cents. Moderna down 545 to 173. ATIP 29.7 is up 0.7 of a penny now. The ATIP has gone green. Tesla 122.29 still up 47 cents. Um, we've got uh, SoFi 456 and a half down two and a half. Apple down 179 to 127.82. We got S&P down 37 points. NASDAQ down 135. And there it is. That's where we're at. Apparently, Donald Trump's tax returns are now public. So you can see how many hundreds of millions of dollars in income tax he paid as a multi-billionaire that he is. What? He didn't pay any taxes? What? He didn't pay any? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Alex, oh my, udon noodles are the best. Sesame oil, soy sauce, and sesame seeds. Oh, yeah. DQ calls on roasted sesame seeds. Uh, DH, DQ futures. Hey, uh, futures DQ. Um, yeah, look at that ATIP, 29.7. We've traded 47,800, and uh, we're up on the morning. Low of 28, now 29.7 cents. So little little pop there. Uh, Tesla, 122.32, up 50. Um, yeah, DH, uh, DQ is saying, DH, would it go long on the sesame? Rosa sesame seeds go long, go long, indeed. All right. Well, we're going to find out how this market treats all of you. Uh, like I say, the new year's coming, and um, I'm excited. They we're down 160 on Google, Amazon down 147, Home Depot down 489, Cisco down 41, Netflix down 530, Pfizer down 26, IBM down 59, Microsoft down 392, Vanek down 361, Adobe down 458. Goldman down 352, uh, Boeing up 14 cents, uh, Meta down 198, ME down 7 cents, Rocket Lab down 6.5 cents, Matterport down 1.2 cents, Smart Rent up a half a penny, Spire down a half a penny, Sixtera up 5 pennies. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, 237 point drop on the Dow, but I don't think it's going to be a really bad day. I don't, I don't think so. Not when it's all said and done. Uh, let's see. Uh, due to saying a DQ cash secured put maybe on those uh, roasted sesame seeds. Maybe that's the way to play that one. All righty, 18.15 on GameStop off 18 cents. Volume today, 249,000. Uh, Tesla volume at 121.94, 31 million so far. A low of 119.77, high of 124.47. We got about a $5 spread roughly uh, between high and low on Tesla. SoFi unchanged, 459. 
we're back to unchanged on SoFi. 460 has been the high of the day today. 2.9 million, nothing coming in for sale. This is this is a sign. SoFi is drying out uh, of stock and uh, 2. Point whatever million, and there's no down dip. So, okay, maybe we are turning the corner and on some of these sooner rather than later. Wow, we. Oh, the coffee, the coffee, the coffee. Mm -mm -mm. So I guess big companies buy next week. Uh, Matt Ng is wondering about. Well, you know, I think we uh, we start with the, uh, you know, the markets will go higher with the big cap first. The guys in the best financial shape, they move higher first. Uh, the question is, how much buying do we have coming in today and next week and the week after from the wash trade rule? Um, how many people are going to want to get back into stocks they sold off for tax losses? They're going to want to get in while they're still down here, if they are down here. So we'll find out. Spicy. If I write today on GameStop, how does a $19 strike sound? Uh, not bad. Uh, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. You write, if you write a $19 strike and you can get a March or an April written for a big, big premium. This is the secret here. Bringing in hundreds and hundreds of dollars a contract, not tens of dollars, hundreds of dollars. That's what you want. Even if the stock wants to go up to 21, 22, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, first of all, your stock goes up. Your deep in the money calls go up. The call you wrote will be all premium when you wrote it. And if the shares go higher, you'll be replacing the premium with book value. And you'll have a combination of book value and premium. And if you have to, you'll do a rollover. You'll buy your 19s back and you'll write 2021s. Not a prop. Yeah, not a prop. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here it is. Here it now, is. I'm not sure if this is the usual format. Well, you know, uh, they're, they're, ooh, ooh, ee, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Jen. Jr. I'm sure this will work out. Is it going to work? I think so. I see them sesame seeds in there. They're looking great. Uh, we got the uh, the great jelly on there. See that, everybody? Can you see that? Ooh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> All right. We're going to give it a go and see uh, see how it works out. The Standard tip is 15%, but I accept uh, cash, uh, Venmo. Uh, you can e-transfer me. I've got, uh, I could take a credit card if you want to go through my QuickBooks account. I'll, I'll be back. You, you, you take your time. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Someone's watching. Um, thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The kid's got it. Oh, yeah. The kid does well. Um. She does it very well. Mm, mm, mm. Spicy is saying, uh, if I go out to April, I'll have enough to buy three more covered calls. Deep into money calls. Sounds good. I agree. Alberto, Jan 27, strike of 19, 267, delicious premiums. Um, bagel Hand says DH. GameStop says Alberto. Uh, Splare, bagel, bagel, bagel. Beach Boy, crunch time. Uh, Richard. Uh, thank you, Auntie Jen Jr. AJJ. Interesting that they both do the Bruce head rub. Um, spicy. I almost saw an elbow. Watch out. Uh, BW, uh, you're not sure how this works. Um, didn't you practice for a week how to hand off a bagel to the old man? Jen Jr. Now, come on. <laughs> it looks like a little heavy on the jelly. DQ, uh, $30,000 surgery. And you have to tip the bagel cook. Geez, it's not easy being uh, in this upper echelon of economic, uh, you know, the economic world. It's it's not easy. I, I can't afford to shave every day anymore. You notice that? Uh, yeah, it's tough out there. Um, Alberto, your daughter is amazing. Is she married? Uh, asking for a friend. Uh, DQ, uh, Bertie is looking for wife number four. Uh, fool of a took. Uh, number 49, thumbs up. Just got here. Hope all went well with Jen's procedure yesterday. It did. It's all good. Jen is in the living room right now on the couch. She's relaxing. She's got her her uh, ice machine working on her uh, her hip. And 
she's doing fantastic. Mm, mm, very good. Very nice. GameStop up three cents. GameStop is up eighteen thirty six now. ATIP thirty and a half up one point six cents. Tesla's up one twenty three oh five. SoFi's up five cents. We're on the move. Here we go. We might be on the move. Oh baby. Giddy up. ATIP only traded 84,800. We're up to 30.2 now on the stock. 30.2 cents a share. Here we go. Moving again. 463 on SoFi. GameStop, 1833. Apple still at 127.84. Mm, 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 mm. Amy. Amy wants a one-on-one -on -one session. No problem. Amy, we'll get you booked in. We'll figure something out. Got a number of you guys now lining up. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you in there for sure. Thank you all. HPQ down only 34 cents. Hmm. Very good. This is very, very nice. Hmm. Very, very delicious. Looks like GameStop took a, a bit of a run here. Came from like 1790. Got up to 1830-something, 1838, right now at 1834. It's all right. Dow's still down 240. S&P down 33, NASDAQ down 119. But we're not we're not going into huge uh, sell-offs here. Oil's up about 70 cents right now. Right on, right on. Um, let's take a look here. 23 and me's down six and a half. Rocket Lab down four. Matterport down a half a penny. Smart Rent unchanged. Spire down 1.9 cents. Six Terra down seven cents. Uh, back to the top of the page. We got 1827 on GameStop down six. Moderna 173.50 down 520. ATIP trading at 30 cents even right now, up 1.1 cents. Tesla 123.12 up 130. SoFi 462.2 up 3.2. We had a buy surge come through there a bit a little while ago on all these stocks. Mm -mm. Giddy up. Thank you, Fool of a Took. Uh, Alberto, live and out loud. DQ, four or five. Nazareth, I'm 151. Thank you for the 151 thumbs up. Mandu, I'm so happy that Andy Jen is doing well. We all are. Fool of a Took. I don't normally send well wishes to Steelers fans, but I'll make an exception uh, in her case, says Fool. <laughs> Alberto, uncle, my first right. I will be contributing to uh, Tia Jen's second hip surgery. I'm sure you already know this. Just confirming you're unbelievable, man. You guys are awesome. Nazareth DQ, my back fusion surgery cost 200 grand. I think I paid three grand in surgery for that insurance. Wow. DQ, fool, maybe you deserve your account troubles. Um, <laughs> DQ, Nazareth. Yeah, it's insane how they set prices to the insurance companies, then negotiate down Mr. Premium of the option. Uncle Bruce, when is the next six on one? Um, I'm going to guess uh, uh, it might be next week, but I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, but there, there will be there will be more. Uh, stand by when I know. Uh, when I know more, I'll announce it. Um, uh, DQ, I believe Nathras is saying his copay, uh, says Alberto. Dude, I'm about to roll out of Vanguard into another brokerage. They still won't approve me for options and spreads. I'm giving it one more week. 
yeah, dude, if they don't do it, you know, margin and spreads, then you move on. Fool of a took, uh, DQ, a level. I thought you might say that. A DQ, uh, Bertie, I know, just saying it costs 200000 It's the price game in the U.S., you know. Alberto, DQ, ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. It is what it is. We're down 243 on the down. We're down six on GameStop. Moderna at 173.19, down 567. Um, ATIP is up again, 31.7 cents now, up 2.8 cents on ATIP. Um, they're climbing to the, uh, this is the high of the day right now on 156, 156,000. ATIP is being scooped up here um, and it is uh, popping a little bit. So uh, we'll watch for this, kids. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Well, a good question from BW. What's going on behind the scenes today in the world of hedge funds? Being that it's year's end, what's their deal? Do they have to close out any of their short positions they've been floating on for a year? Or keep kicking down the road? Well, if they're privately managed hedge funds, they don't have calendar issues. They're not publicly traded companies. They don't have to report. They don't have to go to shareholders. They don't have to have an annual meeting. They, they're private. They, they are only answerable to their investors, their backers. And if they're offshore based, they're not even based in America. Many of them are not based in America. They don't have SEC rules uh, or uh, U.S. accounting rules that they have to follow. It's a whole different world for these guys. And so, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are based in uh, tax haven jurisdictions. Uh, they're based in countries that are far more favorable to uh, hedge funds than to private individuals. Although I guess I could say, look... Uh, if you run a hedge fund out of Switzerland, um, as a private individual, you have uh, a lot of privacy too, right? Um, it's possible that they're running out of the Cayman Islands, they're running out of the Turks and Caicos, they could be running out of Bar Barbados, uh, the Bahamas, Bermuda, uh, around the world. I mean, they're you know they're not answerable to any authority. They don't have, certainly not to you and me. I'll tell you that. They don't have to talk to us. So we're guessing on a lot of this stuff, um, obviously. Uh, Alex, uh, to ATIP holders, I say neat, neat, neat. 31.4 is the last trade on ATIP. We're up two and a half cents this morning on those shares. Two, a fool of a touch. Just want to update everyone on my account troubles. After another hour and a half on the phone with Merrill yesterday, this is eight hours this week. I've decided to fire my broker and I initiated the uh, the transfer, I'm assuming, and I, I can't blame you. B BW, with the group on here and the money that can possibly be generated in the coming years, I wonder if we could hedge fund ourselves and call ourselves Bagel, t bagel Time Ventures. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know if we want to do that. Um, uh, to each his own, I say, go your own direction or whatever. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, we're still down 265 on the Dow right now. Mm. John Anderson just bought another 50 shares of COIXT. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. Right on. The fool of a took goes on to say, transferring everything over to Fidelity. The best part, I got approved to buy calls on Fidelity, which I was not approved for with Merrill. This means I can now sell my stock and do poor man covered calls. Right on, man. Who knew Merrill's incompetence could make me money? Unbelievable DQ. Bagel Bridge Holdings, uh, you know, these brokerage firms are not all set up to handle option option writers. Um, they're handling the gamblers on the floor, not the writers. 
Uh, they don't have, and they don't have qualified staff to take your phone calls. <laughs> they do not. When I was a stockbroker, beginning in 79, right up until I left the business, but through the 70s and the 80s and 90s, it was impossible, impossible for anyone to have a brokerage account without having an, a real, live, licensed um, securities person, asset manager. There was no way the SEC would allow brokerage firms to operate accounts without having live, hands-on advisors. That uh, was unthinkable. And back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s, Brokerage firms used to advertise on television to get clients. And the big shtick was that you would you would uh, open an account with a U.S. brokerage firm or in Canada with a Canadian brokerage firm. And the big shtick was, uh, the big selling point was a personalized one-on-one -on -one service. You, you've got a professional person to look after your assets. The, the dream of everyone in the world was to have someone who's got your back to help guide you through the minefield of investments, whether it's retirement planning, estate planning, family trusts, children's education, uh, just in regular trading. Uh, you, you had to have a professional. It was unthinkable that that would never be the case today. Click away on a little cell phone or on your laptop or on an iPad. Open an account with company blah, blah, blah. You never talk to a human being. Never. Never. And then you have a question. You go to the frequently asked questions section. You have a, a detailed problem. You call the 800 number. And what do you get? A call center in the Philippines or in Indonesia or in India, or I don't know where, and you're going to talk to people with an answering service that are going to look up questions that they have to try to give you the answer. And if you need further help, they'll try to transfer you back to the USA to somebody somewhere. And you may or may not get a licensed individual. You may or not may not get a licensed person to handle your inquiry. The SEC has has totally dropped the ball on on oversight on customer protection consumer protection all because the business the brokerage business has convinced the sec this is what people want and this is better for people they get way better pricing for their trades much lower commissions much lower fees this is better for them and how many Hundreds of uh, millions of people around the world and, and tens of millions in America have lost their shirts uh, trying to trade stocks, day trade stocks, not knowing what they're doing. How many people buy and sell options? Not not write them, but just buy and sell options. Don't even know what they are. They, they're not sure what they are. And yet they just follow the little video game prompts to play the game. It's unbelievable. It's wild. If you're just joining us, you want to know how Auntie Jen is doing. If you're just joining us, all is well. Everything went perfectly yesterday. Auntie Jen went into the hospital. At about 10.15 yesterday morning. She was in the pre-op section in about 10 minutes. <laughs> um, she had her operation in around the 1 o'clock, 1.30 window or something like that. 
she has met with her doctor, anesthesiologists, anesthesiologists, the nurses. Everybody was uh, was uh, talking to her, and she was very comfortable, very happy. Um, they loved her. I got a call from the doctor in the three something or o'clock time frame, three thirty maybe, and he told me. Uh, Everything's great. Uh, she's doing great. She's pain free. The procedure went perfectly. We have a brand new hip in there. She already is walking on it. Um, uh, she's come out of. Uh, she's in recovery, but she's already on her been on her feet already. We're very pleased with how it went. Uh, she found out later from the doctor that on a scale of one to ten, the arthritis that was in her hip, um, having now seen it and having looked at the CAT scans very closely with the imaging from the computers and whatnot, uh, he said that on a scale of one to 10, her arthritis was 11. It's as bad as it can get. He said it was just a mess in there. And um, he said, we are amazed that she was still walking, still walking on that hip. Uh, we know she's been in pain. We know it. Uh, we've had patients who've had way less than half of this who couldn't walk anymore. The pain was excruciating. They were wheelchair bound. Uh, I said, we're amazed at, at her ability to keep on going. She's a model patient. Uh, she will recover very quickly. Uh, the therapists are just delighted uh, already with her because uh, she's ready to go. She's ready to walk and she's ready to exercise. She's ready to build flexibility. She's willing to rest when she's told to rest. She has her ice pack machine and everything. She's, it's good. The second hip, um, which they also have CAT scanned, um, they said, we'll have her in here next year uh, because it's at a nine out of 10 for arthritis. It's a nine. So we, we uh, are constantly amazed at how patients come down here from Canada and from other areas and Americans too. And we are may, amazed at how patients come to us so late in the game. Uh, Jen should have been here 10 years ago for both. Um, it's incredible. She's 67. And now, finally, she's getting a new hip. She should have had one in her 50s. No question about it. She was in pain then. But she would take the odd uh, Tylenol, make the pain go away. And she'd just kind of tough it out. Unbelievable. Um, anyway. Uh, we, uh, we will be back a year from now for the other hip. So <laughs> the gen, uh, the gen hip fund is alive and well for the second uh, hip. And we thank you all of you for these donations that you're making, uh, towards it. Uh, you guys are great. So she's all ready to go. She's more than happy to come back and get the second one. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Fool of a Took says, you are right about that, Bruce. Uh, Coyote, Fool of a Took could have made Merrill money too, but their stupidity let it slip through their hands. Their loss uh, goes so far. Uncle Bruce, would it be a good idea to have Tesla in my portfolio if it drops below 100? Oh, if you can get it that cheap, sure. But I don't know if you're going to get it. Karen, I have been happy with Fidelity. DQ, Merrill wants you to hand them your money and let them make you pennies. JR, ATIP is on the move up here. Uh, must have been listening to the expert Uncle Bruce analysis. We're at 31 and a half, up 2.6 cents now on ATIP. Uh, Fool of a Took says Coyote. Yep. Zeta State, thumbs up. 158, Bruce. You're 42 away from 200 thumbs ups. We have 179 people here. Find those thumbs ups for us if you can, people. If you can hit that thumbs up button, get us to the 200 level ASAP. I see 161 in now. We need 39 more. Help us out, please. Pool of a took DQ. Yeah, man. This whole week with them was one huge headache. Lost hundreds of dollars since I couldn't write calls when GameStop was at 19. This is so frustrating. I made sure to close all my positions first. Zeta State. Happy to know Antigen is well. Nick uh, H, uh, great to hear Antigen is doing well. Bobby, um, LV2 on ATIP, show, level two shows, ATIP, 7,000 shares, sitting nearly uh, already at 31.8. So uh, this this could go higher. Uh, Bobby um, on the ask side, Larry Titus, Superwoman Jen, a DQ. Um, rumor is Antigen told the doctors, I live with Bruce. This hip pain is nothing. By comparison, 
I, I, I live with Uncle Bruce. The pain of that. This, this hip thing is a, is a hipster doofus. It's a nothing. Matthew, Andy Jen is a powerhouse. That is good to hear. Everything went really well. Full of a took. Wow, glad she's doing better. Good thing you got her in when you did. Bobby, um, looks like 10,000 shares spread across 31.8 to 32.8 on ATIP. Only 10,000 shares. That's all there is. 31.5 last trade. Volume today, 188,000 on ATIP. Up 2.6 cents. High of the day, 31.7 and we're we're just seeing buying coming in on ATIP, just just coming in. It's coming in. Uh, BW, you know what I realized? You have no bus or service in your room. Uh, I heard a demand or a comment on tipping. Wouldn't that require the waiter to return on how the meal was? What, what do you think about that? Yeah, you know, something tells me the waiter is preoccupied with somebody else right now. Yeah, I'm the secondary thought. Um, we'll just leave that as it is. We're down only 153 on the Dow. We're coming back on the Dow Jones uh, rather smartly. Um, GameStop is at 1832, down a penny. Moderna, 175.38. ATIP, 31.5. Tesla, 123.42, up 160. SoFi is up three cents, 462. Um, Apple only down a buck 20. We got HBQ down just 27 cents. It's coming up. Google 147 lower at the moment. Uh, Amazon down 129. Home Depot down 448. Cisco down 25. Netflix down 411. Pfizer off 19. IBM down 46. Microsoft down 283. Bannock Semiconductors down 273. Adobe down 301. Goldman down 96 cents. There you go. Uh, let's see. Um, the waiter, uh, 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 moonlighting as a nurse, hard times. Uh, we, we, well, she can multitask. Eh? The kid, the kid's a multitasker. Boeing is down, is up eighty six. Meta down one fifty seven. Me down five and a half. But uh, Rocket Lab is up almost a penny. Matterport is up one and a half. Smart Rent up one and a half. Spire down one point eight. And Sextera up nine cents to one ninety three right now. All right, uh, one seventy four is the drop on the Dow. Twenty four on S and P. Ninety one points is the drop on uh, Nasdaq. All three markets are coming higher they've been improving little by little we've been on the air one hour 51 minutes and we're desperately trying to get to 200 thumbs ups we have 167 in the house we're in need of 33 thumbs ups to get to 200 today if any of you out there have been sitting on your uh, thumbs ups and you're able to find it Hit that button for us and get us a little bit closer. Uh, we would appreciate it. If you're watching on the rerun, you know what to do. Uh, you rerunners out there, hit that thumbs up button for us immediately and add to this channel's move. We're now at 171. We got 29 to go and we've got 200 thumbs ups in the house. The only thing I can do about the uh, the fact that we are at 172 and climbing and that anti chin is back and is doing well is i think we got to pop up those knee emojis in celebration of the fact that auntie jen is uh, back home and doing well and is recovering aurora is number 106 and 170 thank you aurora we got 173 on the thumbs up meter hit those thumbs ups hit those knee emojis everybody let's get this market doing what we want this market to do for us uh, dq is hitting those thumbs ups howdy partners hitting those uh, uh knee emojis as well DQ, howdy partner, JR, Mirko, here come the knee emojis. Neat, 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 neat. Matthew's doing it. Uh, here they come. Aurora's doing it. John Gill is here. Uh, show us you're here, everybody. These, uh, these, uh, these emojis help out. Dean, thank you, Dean, for the knee emojis today. Deep Value is throwing them up there like crazy. Got 175 thumbs up. Splair's throwing them up there. Uh, Spicy is throwing them up there. Uh, Deep Value has got them coming out. Uh, premium of the option. They're just coming in here like crazy. The knee emojis. One after the other. Here we go. Neat, 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 neat. No end to it. Uh, no stopping this. Thank you all. 176 thumbs ups. 24 to go. That's all. Option Nomads are here. Thank you, guys. Fish Creek Soap Company, of course, is here. D.A. Truda is here. Richard Carlin is here. They're all here. They're all lurking about. Thank you all. Joe K is throwing up the knee emojis. Larry Titus is here throwing up knee emojis. Octavio is here. Thank you so much, guys. Alex, thank you. 178 thumbs up. So we need 22 to go. 
There's the Zeta State knee emoji attack right there. Thank you. Sell my house fast enough for Marlboro. Here they come. Here they come, kids. No stopping the knee emojis. They're popping up here all over the place. Beach Boy has got them going. Look at that. Thank you, Beach Boy. Thank you very, very much. 179 thumbs ups, kids. We're running. We're running. We're running. Bobby Atkinson. Well, the honey do list got changed to grocery shopping. Have a good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> yes, sir. There was a reason you don't have to do drywall. It wasn't because you get in the day off, you know. Go sofis.com is also throwing up the emojis. That uh, drywall has been replaced with something else. Uh, much more important. Um, 181 thumbs ups, 19 left to get. And then we'll have 200 thumbs up. So GameStop's up a dime. Uh, ATIP is at 31 and a half, up 2.6. Tesla, 123.30 at 148. Dude is throwing up the knee emojis. Here they come. Thank you, dude, for that. The knee emoji attack is underway. SoFi is up a penny right now. If you like ups, the stock's going up. Hit the knee emojis for us. You like it when markets go higher, please. Dude, thank you, dude. Deep value, thank you. Uh, here they keep coming. They just keep coming in. I just keep trying to update the thing here. Uh, and they're just coming through. 181 thumbs ups, 19 to go. Hit the thumbs up button if you like making money in this market. We're up 11 cents now on GameStop, 1844. Here we go. Dude's got more of those knee emojis. Love it. Thank you all so much. If I've missed anybody, I apologize. They're just coming in so fast. I can't see them all here. They're coming through here quickly. Uh, 181 on the thumbs up meter. Hit it, guys. Hit it. Hit it hard. Hard. Just like they say in curling. Hit it hard. Hard. There you go. Thank you for the thumbs ups all. So appreciate it. Love it. Thank you again and again and again. Uh, this is good, good stuff. All right. There you go. Uh, the Dow down 171. We've had some improvement here, and we're up four cents on GameStop. We're up, we're up to 31 and a half on ATIP. Is today breakout day? Is this it? Did we get a breakout on ATIP today? Did we pop it up to 3540 today? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, this will run out. This stock will run up. It there will be a complete lack of stock soon, sooner or later. It'll get to a point where there's none left. And then we gap 10, 15 cents. We just gap up. Um, watch out. I'm telling you, watch out. 31 and a half right now on ATIP. Tesla 123.22, holding um, holding that 130-ish gain right now. Go, 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 everybody. Thank you. I just bought two more poor man cover call. Deep in the money calls. I now have 10 Deep in the money calls, I can write 10 contracts at a time. Just think about that, Spicy. Spicy Android, when Spicy writes $4 contracts, starts writing 10 at a time, that's 4000 US dollars coming in the front door for Spicy. Uh, Spicy didn't have 10 deep in the money calls, not even a month ago, two months ago. Things are changing quickly here. Um, Spicy gets up to 20. Spicy Android will be hauling in eight grand coming in the front door us on 20 calls hello yeah that's a that's a home changer that is a cash flow adjuster that is a that is a uh, 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 credit card destroyer of debt that destroys credit card debt so fast that takes out debts and changes prospects very quickly um giddy up a uh, dq uh, now i have 10 ho ho Ho, oh, that's what Spicy is saying right now. I got 10 contracts now. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, neat emojis from VW. Zed, I can write four contracts on GameStop. Do we write long? Uh, we're talking uh, March, April's. Bringing in big premiums here. Dude, 10, baby. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Things are happening to us now. Down a penny, up a penny on uh, GameStop, down, uh, down 380 on Moderna, ATIP at 31 and a half on uh, up 2.6 cents, 192,000 traded on ATIP. We got Tesla 123.21 up 139, a uh, SoFi down just one penny. There you have it. A fool of a took says, nice going, spicy. Nice going indeed. We have folks here who had, who were sitting on four contracts uh, not too long ago. 
Then the stock split four for one. They're at 16 contracts. Then they sold their shares and they bought 25 deep in the money calls. Then they started rolling those and they're now into the 40 call neighborhood. There are folks on this channel who are writing 40 calls now that four months ago were writing four. And they're hauling in 16 grand at a time when they write $4 premium contracts. Is there's some money coming in the door here? Uh, go so far. I don't know if you answered my question, so I'm asking you again. Would it be a good idea to have Tesla in my portfolio? If yes, what should be the price I should look into getting this thing at? I, I, I know you're you love sh you love trading short term trades. Uh, you're not a long term holder of stock. You're in to get out. Uh, Tesla is a great buy if you're going to hold it for a while because it's now at a cheap price. It gives you the ability to write calls for some serious premiums, which can really take the downside out. Even if you're paying 123 and you write 130 calls for several months out, you could probably bring in 15, 20 bucks a contract. That brings your price on your stock to 103. That's not bad risk. Uh, stock even drops to 105. Those calls you wrote, you'll buy back for a quarter of the price, and you'll now write 120s, 115s for another $20, $25. You'll bring your average down into the 80s. Uh, I don't know very many other stocks that can give you this opportunity. GameStop used to give you this way back when, when we were, you know, 150 bucks a share. GameStop today at 1836, if you could write a call and bring in $4 on an $18 stock, that is phenomenal that's more than 20 percent of the stock price if you're buying a deep in the money call on gamestop for like uh 10 bucks and you can bring four dollars in on that that's 40 percent of the price of the contract in your hands in cash today these are phenomenal returns these are huge uh must be taken advantage of is it any wonder viewers of my channel will write 25, 30 contracts and then immediately buy three, four, five, six more deep in the money calls? Why wouldn't you? This is your chance to leverage up and bring in this option money that they're just dying to hand you at a premium, including Tesla now down to 122. This is cheap stuff compared to $275 a share. Compared to $400 a share, this is cheap. DQ, keep dropping Moderna. Uh, Z, uh, March, April. Okay, I suggest a strike. 19, 20, something like that. JL, 30 years ago, passed all required NASDAQ tests first try. So many job offers from big banks and large cities. Was selling mutual funds as a fiduciary. Uh, yeah, those were the days, right, JL? Go so far. Yes, I want to go along a thousand Tesla this year, but I do not want to uh, buy at this price. I'm thinking of buying something around 100 if I can get it. Well, then you know, sit on the on the sidelines and watch. Um, but I, I I suspect 108 might have been it. Uh, might have been it. That was an awful fast, brutal, over the top drop. And even at 122, I think we're way too low. But that's me. You don't have to listen to me. 209 is the drop on the Dow. That you can take to the bank. Uh, we got an 1828 trade on GameStop down a nickel. Uh, we're down 1% on NASDAQ, 0.77 on S&P, and 0.63 on the Dow. Just slight drops there. Nothing serious. The ATIP is up again. 31.6 cents now. Another tenth of a penny higher. This is just below the high of the day of 31.7. 194,000 traded on ATIP interesting day yet again here uh tesla 122.41 so far 454 uh down four and a half cents we're jumping around on these stocks quite a bit which i figured we would today thank you all for joining me how are we doing on the thumbs up meter now 184 16 away just 16 thumbs ups away from 200 thumbs ups we have 189 people here and we're just at two, almost at 200. Thank you all for helping out today. I appreciate it. If you watch on the rerun, hit that thumbs up button for us and get us over 200. We love you all. Thank you very much. Mm, indeed. 189 is the dip on the Dow. Um, GameStop just went green again. 1834. Um, ATIP 31.6. Tesla 122.51. 
Uh, Triple Dog Dare says, hey, Uncle Bruce, forgive me if this is a silly question, but I am confused. For a stock like GameStop that isn't very expensive, is it better to write on the stock that you own or buy deep in the money calls and write on those? This depends. Um, there is no wrong way to do this. There are people out there that will only buy the stock and write on the stock. And they have nothing to worry about as far as option expiries, uh, uh, strike price concerns, nothing. They just own the stock and they write. That's okay. Then there are those viewers who are working for a living right now and hate their jobs. Um, there are the workers out there who were sort of uh, given the impression that uh, a few years into their careers, they would be moving up the ranks within a firm and they would be enjoying perks and it hasn't come to fruition because the bitter reality is you were never going to be moved up into the ranks you were always going to be a grunt and you were going to be kept at a lower level or the person that promised you the great things isn't there anymore and the person that is now your boss doesn't give a crap about you and you're done for uh, you can't win them over they have relatives they're going to bring in to over, overshoot you. You're done for. There are people who are dying to quit their day jobs. That's what I'm trying to get at. Dying to quit their day jobs. Get me out of here, Bruce. These are the folks that are buying deep in the money call options. Definitely those folks. Uh, they are saying, you know, Bruce, I could pay $1,800 and buy 100 shares of GameStop, or I could pay about $1,000, give or take, and I might be able to buy one of those deep in the money calls for like January 10, 2025s. Um, look, I got 18 grand. Uh, I can buy a thousand shares or I can buy 18 deep in the money calls. Now, what's the difference? Uh, if you're going to bring in $4 in premium on a three, four month contract, uh, $4 premium times 10, that's 4,000 bucks. $400 times 18 deep in the money calls, that's $3,200 more. That's $7,200. The difference between working for a day job and not working for a day job could be the difference between generating $4,000 in option premium or $7,200 in option premium. Or, hey, do the math yourself. Can you write... 15 calls because you've got stock or can you write 30 calls because you've got deep in the money calls 15 calls times 400 each six grand four hundred dollars times 30 calls 12 grand there's a number there's a number in everyone's mind they know you know what it is that when you are at to the point where you can bring in x amount of money by writing call options you will not work anymore because you can choose to quit now you might just go to another firm you might go to a part-time gig you might work as a consultant only you might quit out and out and not, not work for anybody period you'll decide you, you're all different none of you are the same you're all different so here you are a uh, triple dog there there's a few scenarios for you. I bought 2,000 more ATI pieces, Nick DeMaurier, uh, Constantine, number 184. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. DQ, you go, uh, you, go, you, what is it? I go, you could buy the shares immediately, right? Calls, I'll get his share price down to the 105 range. Mr. Premium, Nick, uh, cash secure put on Tesla, March 100 strike is going for 750, uh, aka buying Tesla at 92.50 a share. Uh, fool of a took, uh, uh, go so far. Uh, I kind of agree with what Bruce uh, was saying. What what if it takes you another two months to get that one hundred dollar price? In that two months, you could probably lower your cost basis to one hundred already or less. Fool of a took. I don't know. I would go for it if I had the capital, but I'm also relatively new to all of this. Um, Jr. I got another thousand ATIP, and I'm looking to buy another thousand. Average down to thirty eight cents. Nice, nice. So that's the best part about ATIP down here. You can buy this stuff down here. You guys are bringing your averages down chunks, big chunks. The stock doesn't have to go up as far for you to make money. It's just that simple. Um, grab this stuff and uh, away we go. Flint Creek, wow, I slept through most of the show and dreamt I met a bunch of you and Uncle Bruce showed up. We had coffee. K 
kept the show going weird, fun, uh, interesting. A Z um, 19 or 20 strike. Oh my, I'm feeling that this is aggressive too for me. Okay, I'm going to try something. Um, Alex Z, you can always roll. Time is your friend, my friend. Yes, uh, BW. I work for a fan company, and I can't wait to quit my job, uh, my day job, <clears throat> when the markets finally turn and I'm writing hundreds of contracts every few weeks. Bye bye. Um, Nick, can any Uncle UK folks uh, tell? Can any UK folks tell me if IBKR allows poor man covered calls? Good question. Uh, J Joe K logged in a bit late. Uncle Bruce, thoughts on Google resetting bottom or going up from here? I think we're near the bottom myself, but you know, what can I say? I like the price down here. Uh, triple dog there. Wow, thanks for that great explanation. I'm currently in the first two camp of people and want to become one of those people who don't need to work. This is a game changer. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 90, you gotta go. You gotta buy the calls under the 90, 10 rule. You gotta take my classes on how to write poor man covered calls. You got to understand how that works. You've got to understand how to acquire them. You have to understand stink bids, stink offers. You've got to take my classes. It's, it's an investment of a few hundred dollars, two, three, four classes. It's, it, it, it's, it's chump change. What you're going to generate from learning that information, these classes are a bargain at 150 bucks a pop. You got to take them. You got some time off coming up with the long, with the, uh, the New Year's. This is your chance. Grab these classes, watch these classes, rewatch them. Get ready. Next week you begin. The week after that. The week after that, and you'll build build your way out of that job. Uh, Okay, uh, Alex says, Nick, yep, I've been writing uh, um, IBKR, both covered calls and poor man cover calls since July. Nick, great, thank you. Alex said, uh, IBK does poor man cover calls. Andrew, uh, IBK does allow cover calls. I have one on game stuff. Bobby, what level is required, Alex? For example, poor man's are level three margin in quest trade. Uh, deep value, naked shorts are mad. Uh, ATIP is up 8% at least today, funny guys. Uh, 31 cents now on ATIP, up 2.1. Fool of a took. I just wrote um, cash secured put 110 strike 50 Tesla 17 February 23 for 910. If I get assigned, I'm okay because my cost basis will be $100.90. That is what I want anyway. You get paid to wait. There you go. Joe, um, IB allows all option orders and super cheap. Paid 62 cents on last trade. Caveat don't do poor man cover call. On TFSA or RSP, if you're Canadian, there you go. Wavy gravy, Uncle Bruce, putting you on the spot here. Would you be considering your four for three class deal in the beginning of 2023? Uh, no, because we're going to go into a new class right away. Uh, we're going to go into a new class probably the third or so week of January. Number 15 is coming out, and um, by February, March, number 16. So there probably won't be a deal on classes until the summertime. And even then, I don't know what it'll be because we've raised prices now to 150 and uh, we have other irons in the fire for other thoughts. Um, and uh, we're, 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 um, we're just, you know, we got to build up the, uh, I'm building up the class numbers to 15 and 16, first of all, and then we'll kind of go from there. Wavy, Uncle Bruce, putting you on the spot here. All right, uh, Alex. Uh, Nick, uh, enjoy. I found getting the con account set up correctly took a bit of time, but once it's done, it's easy to manage. Fool of a took. Go so far. Nice. I haven't looked into doing any puts yet, but that sounds like a good strategy. There you go. Rock and roll. We're down 188 on the Dow. Uh, GameStop, unchanged. ATIP, 31 cents. Uh, Tesla, 122.41, 122.57. SoFi, 456 and a half. Apple, 128.68, down just 90 odd cents. There it is. Um, let's see. Wavy Gravy Fair. Thanks for the answer. I'll be buying more for the wife and I. There you have it. Right on. Giddy up, man. Giddy up. Um, let's see what else is going on. Thank you, everybody, for all what you've done for us today, these donations you've made today. Uh, those of you who want to get these one-on-ones, you've already paid for them and you haven't even got me. <laughs> I haven't even booked you in yet. We'll get it figured out. Um, just bear with me uh, uh, as we figure out what's going on with our timing coming up. Uh, anybody who wants to do a one-on-one, -on -one, you can always make a donation for the 400 US anytime you want. And um, we'll, we'll get you booked in when it works for both of us, no problem. 
Uh, I appreciate it all. Uh, thank you also for these um, thumbs ups. 186 have come in. 14 to go, and we hit 200. Um, hopefully, those of you on the rerun can put us over the top. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to take my leave now. It's been two hours, 14 minutes. Can see how Auntie Jen is doing and uh, uh, figure out what uh, what happens the rest of the day with her. I'll be back with you today at 3 o'clock Eastern time for the final hour of trading as we watch all this activity here. Um, I, I am convinced we might be green by the time the day is over. I don't think the Dow will have a down day today. I, I, I don't know if the markets will be in the red. Uh, they're not red enough. It's the way I smell it. I just don't see enough selling here uh, that's convincing me we're going to have a down day. Uh, oh, let's see. There's a, there's a fractional losses here and there, so nothing serious going on. So I like this. Okay. Uh, let's go. What else? Um, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Alex, uh, Bobby, I think I'm level two. I had to apply. For a margin account, then for options trading, also you have to pay a few dollars a month for live quotes. Uh, Nick, uh, Alex, great. Yes, I already write covered calls on IBK Air, but I wasn't sure if they allow poor man covered calls. Kent says, thank you, thank you. Uh, Splair, have a successful day to you all. Matthew, have a good afternoon, folks. Flint Creek, hugs to Auntie Jen. Gentle ones, I love you all. John Anderson, thank you, everybody. Go so far. In 1993, Warren B. did the same thing. He wanted to buy KO. For 35, he was he was trading at 39 at the time. He wrote five million cash secured puts for two and a half, made 750 million to wait. How about that? Uh, there you go, can be done. Uh, Alex, uh, send love uh, from all the Bagel Gang to AJ Mirko. Alex in Germany, the commission for live quotes gets refunded if you make more than 30 dollars in commissions a month. So there's that too. Uh, interesting uh, thoughts here, everybody. Thank you for sharing all this info to everyone else. Everybody. That's part of the beauty of this channel. Thank you all very much. I will see you guys at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, like Richard says, neat, neat, neat. We'll get together. 188 thumbs ups are in. 12 left to get, and you got 200 already for us. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll uh, we'll join you again at 3 this aft as we'll shut the day down together. Shut the week down. Shut the year down. Uh, it is option expiry day. Thank you, one and all, for all your kind words for Auntie Jen. We do appreciate it. Uh, she's always blown away by it. Thank you uh, all for everything. Okay, we'll see you this afternoon at 3. This is Bruce, Jen, and Jen Jr. from Palm Desert saying we'll see you a little later. Bye for now.